Uh, today we've been getting the guitar sanded. I've got up to 240 grit and now I'm going to be doing something called raising the grain, applying some uh, moisture to the wood surface, gets the grain to pop up and then you sand it back flat. Uh, this makes the final surface a lot smoother. Uh, I'm doing it at the 240 grit stage. It's the penultimate stage. I'll go one further at 320. People have gone up to you know, in the thousands of grit, but when you get to that stage, you start polishing the wood rather than sanding it, and you need to be aware of efficient coefficients for the finishes that you're going to be using. And then I'm just brushing over the surface just to knock as much loose dust out as I can, and then spray some water. Now, it's just tap water in here, nothing special. I've got it set to a like a mist spray. You don't want to squirt a stream of water at it. Um, you don't need a lot either. So here we go. And you see, the other benefit of doing this is you start seeing what the grain will look like under some finish. So just quickly. Wipe away the excess. Mm. See, and even though I brushed it off, I'm still picking up loads of dust out of the the pores and the grain in the wood. Just put a bit on the cloth and just wipe it around the sides of the body. So the main reason for doing this is because the moisture is going to raise the grain, the ends of the grain absorb the moisture and then they start to swell, which means that you'll feel them um, when you run your fingers over it. Now I had this sanded to 240 and it was feeling extremely smooth, but now I've added some moisture, it feels rough you can feel the ends of the wood fibers under your fingertips so and again around the outside it's more obvious on the edges because obviously you've got exposed end grain which is a whole nother matter when it comes to sanding end grain is a pain in the backside but it just takes a bit more care and attention so you can see as the wood dries itself, it loses the color and luster and it's gone to this, looks like it's got chalk paint all over it. That's the grain raising and coming out of the wood. Now, what I'll do is I'll go back over that with a 240 grit sandpaper and then I'll do it again. And each time you do it, you'll get less grain coming up because you're removing the, the, the loose ends of the, of the grain fibres. And then, you know, two, maybe three times repeating that. And then you go to your 320 grit sanding and then you have wood that's as smooth as glass. So that's why we do it. And I'll give that a few more seconds to air dry and then uh, I'll hit it with the sander. So that's the front done. So we're gonna do the same thing on the back. Another way of doing this is just to squirt onto the cloth or paper towel that you're using in this case, and then apply the water that way. Although the water doesn't get into it as quick, so. Now the body wood is sycamore, which has got totally different grain structure to the rosewood on the top and you know, in the maple family so 
it reacts a little bit differently to the moisture. But it's okay. And again, that's, I've got a lot more resistance on my fingertips. And while we're here, we might as well do the back of the neck. Right, we are sanded to 320 grit. I know it's a bit boring watching a bloke sand for several minutes at a time, uh, but it's part of the process of building a guitar. So I uh, appreciate you guys sticking around and watching me go through this build project. Next, we're on to finishing. So I need to do some experimentation to figure out how the best way of doing that. And then uh, we'll see what this rosewood looks like under some finish. Uh, we'll see you on the next one. Cheers.